Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. So I hope that you're all doing really great today. And so in this video, we'll be taking a look at what is happening across the Atlantic and the current conditions that are there. We're also going to be talking about the possibility of us seeing more activity as we progress into the latter part of this hurricane season. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics. And to show your support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. Okay, and so let's go ahead and begin with a satellite view of the North Atlantic Basin. And here we're seeing a bit of activity. Uh, we're seeing some shower and thunderstorm activity taking place out in the main development region as a result of those tropical waves that are noted in the area. And of course, those are propagating towards the west. And there are two more tropical waves. And so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Caribbean. And so we're seeing some activity over in portions of Central America southern mexico guatemala maybe southern belize as well and also el salvador so it's possible that those areas are experiencing increased precipitation as a result of the passage of that tropical wave across the area and there is a tropical wave that is in the caribbean however uh we're not really seeing any activity that is distinct to say hey tropical wave might be right here so things are pretty quiet for the most part maybe some pop-up showers across sections of the greater antilles but nothing major taking place across the region right now and so as i speak let's go ahead and take a look at conditions and so we're starting off with this water vapor map the yellow and the orange indicate dry air meanwhile we have the greens the whites that indicate more moisture and so we'll see that we have that moisture in association with the waves that are out there but in terms of uh, some areas such as most of the lesser antilles and across sections of the western and central caribbean we have some dry air moving through the region and so uh, when we have dry stable conditions there is usually a reduction in all of that shower and thunderstorm activity so uh, when we have an abundance of dry air out there we don't typically see much happening in terms of that and so uh, as we're going to be progressing into the latter part of the hurricane season there is a chance that we could certainly see some activity especially from the south caribbean so that is usually the area to watch this time around so we typically have less storms coming from tropical waves from the main development region and uh, there can be some spinners that's coming from the south caribbean and make their way up to the north so uh, that's going to be an area to watch as we progress into the rest of this month and into november but uh, there's no guarantee that there is going to be tropical cyclone activity for sure so only time will tell and uh, at the moment nothing significant is noted within the region that should be watched and then going on to this wind shear map so we have the red that indicates unfavorable wind shear the yellow that means neutral and the green that means favorable so we're seeing that across the areas we're seeing on this map here there is mainly unfavorable wind shear being quite dominant and uh, this really helps to inhibit tropical cyclones from developing or intensifying as all these strong upper level winds they really help to displace activity and prevent those thunderstorms from really growing and uh getting organized but one condition that is still favorable is the warm ocean waters as we can see on this sea surface temperature map right here we have things being quite warm across majority of the uh tropics here so uh, we're seeing that the gulf is having a cool down of course we were seeing those greens that is indicating cooler temperatures of course we have the yellows going to the oranges and the reds that indicate warmer temperatures but the gulf is definitely cooling down and this will be the trend as we progress into the uh into the rest of the hurricane season and even into the rest of the year of course we're going to be approaching winter which is when things get pretty cold in the northern hemisphere so uh conditions will in terms of sea surface temperatures across sections of the North Atlantic will decrease. But of course, we have the tropics that remain warm all year round and temperatures will decrease in the region as well, just not as significant and uh, will still be somewhat conducive. But of course, during the off season months, we don't typically have any activity taking place because even though one condition is favorable, others might not be. And we need uh, the most optimum conditions for us to see development. So that doesn't really happen off season. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at what the ensemble tracks are showing as we're going to be heading into the next several days. And so we're going to be starting out with the Euro tracks. 
And so we're seeing here that we're not really seeing anything being anticipated from the euro model as we head to uh, the 23rd, the 24th, going to the end of the month. We see a few areas out there, maybe something trying to develop out in the open waters of the Atlantic and not really being a threat to land. But uh, in terms of an actual system that is affecting somewhere, we don't see the euro uh, ensemble tracks really showing anything much. But going on to the GFS ensemble members here, uh, we're seeing something quite different. So as we're going to be progressing into the latter part of the month, we're seeing these areas being shown here. Take a look at this as we're going to be heading into the uh, the 26th, going to the 27th uh, sometime next week. Here we have the GFS ensemble members picking up on something coming from the South Caribbean. And so, of course, this is not guaranteed to happen, but... It wouldn't be surprising if it actually does because that is a spot that we want to pay attention to in terms of those spinners coming up and uh, us having tropical cyclone activity within the area. So this definitely would not be surprising at all. And of course, there is no guarantee. So let's wait and see what's going to be happening and if other models are going to be hopping onto this. But we're not really having models expecting any development during the next several days. But of course, the GFS goes very far out and so of course when we go that far out there is no guarantee and there are likely to be changes because that's just the weather changes are inevitable so only time will tell what is going to eventually happen but I should also point out that the GFS and some members go much further out than the other models. The euro stops at just 10 days or 240 hours so uh of course, on the Euro map, we wouldn't be seeing anything up to 10 days. And uh, for the GFS, it is in the latter part of the run that we saw those models really sniffing at that development in the South Caribbean. So only time will tell what's going to eventually happen. And so in terms of any more activity for this hurricane season, though, that is all going to be dependent on the favorability of conditions. So if we're talking about the South Caribbean, of course, the warm sea surface temperatures are already there, but there needs to be conducive wind shear as well as all that moisture concentration being present or abundant in the atmosphere to really allow for development to take place. So uh, let's see what's going to be happening. Let's see if what the GFS and Saba members are showing will be taking place. But of course, as of right now, there isn't really anything out there that we should be paying attention to in terms of possible tropical cyclone development. And of course, I'm going to be keeping you guys updated as time goes by. And so that is really it for now. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise. And I will keep you updated as time goes by.